What's up guys, Epoxy bringing you guys an XSplit Gamecaster full depth review and I'm going to show you guys how to use it, how I like it, and all of that fun stuff. So anyways, I'm going to start up my PlayStation 3 right now so I can show you guys the console viewer. So let's go ahead and click open console viewer. So basically what this is, is it allows you to record or live stream your uh, PlayStation 3 or your a any console that can hook up with an Elgato HD or HD PVR and you can actually open up that software through this uh, awesome Gamecaster so as you can see you can see the screen and everything and you can go like this you can live stream and everything straight from this program so this is absolutely great this is like an all-in-one program but that's not really what I'm interested in. I'm more interested in the whole PC live streaming scene. So, anyways, if you do have any frequent, or if you do have any questions, or you don't know how to do something, just go ahead, check out these two videos, or click on the FAQ, and that will definitely help you guys out. And it also tells you three simple steps on what to do. So, you can go to the accounts tab, and you can hook up your live streaming pages so your twitch your youtube live your ustream or you can live stream through a custom rtmp and all those features are great i definitely definitely i'm glad that they put a custom rtmp in case other people are live streaming from a different website now there is also a video sharing section which is for youtube and it will allow you to upload videos from this program onto youtube and the file sizes are not massive on this whatsoever so there is also a set, uh, social networks section, which allows you to connect to your Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus for when you start live streaming. It will s send out a link to everyone, every single one of your followers, and that is great and dandy. So in the settings tab, this is probably the most interesting tab. There is the stream settings, which allows you to change the resolution, and you can go into the advanced settings, and you can change the resolution as well in here. And you can also change the codec, you can change the frame rate from 30 to 60 and you can change it so that if, when you live stream it saves it to your hard disk which is absolutely awesome if you are a popular live streamer or if you want to save your awesome moments from your live stream and trust me a lot of you are probably going to really like that I personally keep it disabled because I'm not that big of a live streamer and I kind of don't really have enough room at the moment on my hard drive so there is also record, record settings, which allows you to change the uh, resolution. You can change it all the way to original resolution for the record settings. There is also the advanced settings, which allows you to change the resolution again. And you can also change the codec, the frame rate, and the quality, which allows you to go from standard to ultra high. Now if we close that, you can also set up your mic. You can also ch set up your webcam. Let's turn on a light here so you can see me. As you can see, bam, um, I'm going to turn off chroma key because that messes up my camera and I don't have a, here, let's find a different light here. Alright, so that's a really messed up light, but, uh, um, so yeah, so this does have a built-in chroma key for your live streams and your videos, so your webcam will, show, you can set it up so it shows up in your recordings and your live streams, which is absolutely awesome. So, I'm going to keep that off. You can also, um... Uh, change the colors and so on and the threshold which is awesome for you people that have green screens you lucky bastards so I'm just gonna keep that off it also has the BRB graphic for when you alt tab out of your game so I personally have this saving for a webcam and then I give them my donation link keep calm I'll be back soon X split at the top right that's not a watermark by the way I put that by choice and also I have my links down below so you can also add multiple images as well and you can clear all if you want to get rid of the original so as you can see you can also have game FPS and CPU load show up show up at the top left of your game or top, top right or bottom right bottom center or bottom left which is awesome so I keep mine at the top left so you can also go to hotkeys and set up your hotkeys if you want. This by here is default, control tab. I keep it at that. There is also one for stream start stop, record start stop, record pause and resume, benchmark start stop, status label, microphone mute unmute, system audio mute unmute, push to talk, camera show hide, start annotation, and run ad. Run ad is for 
Twitch partners, which are streaming on Twitch. There is also a recordings tab, which shows you all of your recordings. So you can set up your folder. So you can go open up folder and choose where you want to save your recordings to. So anyways, let's just go ahead and minimize that and click on our game. And I'm pretty sure it's not triggered on here because I started up this game before I started up Broadcaster. So let's go back and start up this game again. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. I was being a little bit impatient with my uh, uh, exploit Gamecaster. So I kept canceling out thinking that it wasn't working, but it uh, just had to initialize. So it is connected as you can see at the top left. It has the beautiful, beautiful FPS and CPU thing. So this webcam that you guys are seeing right now is actually through the XSplit. And uh, don't worry about the whole delay in uh, match voice and sync. Uh, it's basically because I'm recording multiple recordings and this commentary will not be aligned with it. And also this webcam is not the greatest either. So anyways, how you open up the overlay by default is control tab. And as you can see, I'll just quickly disable this stuff so I can show you guys how to use it. So this enables your stream. This starts up your stream and it I'll show you guys in that a few, show you that in a few seconds. So the record is uh, you just press record and it starts recording and you can mute and unmute your microphone, mute and unmute system sounds, show your webcam and this is all while you're in game. Remember that. And you can change the size. It can be massive or it can be small. Let's change it to a decent size. Let's put it like right, let's put it at the top right, like right here. And if you don't want it showing while you're playing your game, this is normally not shown, but you can go like this. And as you can see, when I go back to game, it's disabled, but it will show up in your recording or on your live stream. So I'm just gonna press control tab again, and I'm gonna keep this visible. And you can also set it so it shows in stream or your recording, but that stays default. So you can also set the chroma key on while you're in game and you can change all the settings and everything. And also you can enable the Twitch chat. It allows you to change the name of your uh, awesome, awesome live stream. So let's just show you a test. I was doing one before, but uh, that was way too long of a recording. So follow three test and save. And bam, it's already changed. And you can change the viewer's color. You can change the opacity. So let's put it to like 15. Let's put in-game HUD. The in-stream slash recording, it, it's not set up yet. Uh, they haven't allowed you to do that yet. They're kind of putting it on a trial, see how many people want it and how many people don't want it. Uh, so uh, make sure that you let them know. Um, so I'm just going to drag that somewhere like down here. Let's drag that like right there so that's above the HP and everything when I start playing and as you can see all that's set up and we can go back to our game and as you can see it shows up our webcam and we will load we're gonna load up our random game save here this is from my last mod video and as you can see everything while we're in game looks beautiful looks beautiful And as you can see, it all works seamlessly. This is an easy, easy, easy program to use. And as you can see, if I, I'm not sure whether you guys can see this or not. I will put up the opacity a little bit more just so you guys can see this a little bit more. Let's put it to 61. And as you can see, the little box, I'll actually put that a little higher so it's above the uh, thing here. Now you can also increase the size as well. I did not know that. You can change the length, I'm pretty sure as well. I would probably keep it around there. You can adjust it so that it looks better for certain games. And we can go back to game. And as you can see, if I were to live stream right now uh, and I had actual viewers, they would, I would be able to see everything that they're saying right there. And by just simply pressing control tab, I could go here and say, hey, Simple as that. And I will quickly show you guys the record thing right now. Bam, it's recording 1080p. And you will be able to see the webcam and everything in the recording, which is absolutely awesome. And it's all 
It's all in one program and it, it works absolutely amazing. This is high quality. Remember, you can change it to high quality recording so that you don't need to use a program like DX3 or anything. This does not split it into two different audio tracks, sadly enough, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they will add that feature. They are listening to their fans and trust me, you guys, I have put in requests for that and if they don't put it in, I'm going to be actually surprised. So I just want all of you to download this program. If uh, there is a trial, I'm going to double check. And I'm pretty sure there is. It's only $5 a month, I think it is. And it's a really, really good program. I'm pretty sure if you pay the $5, you get XSplit Broadcaster and uh, Gamecaster, which is awesome. So yeah, that's the recording. Let's press Control Tab. And you can either pause it and then resume or you can just simply stop it. And now I'm going to click stream. It's testing my bandwidth. And then after it's done testing the bandwidth, it's going to use the recommended server. And bam, I'm live. 720p, like I put in my settings. As you can see, it shows how many viewers you have as well. I have zero, obviously, because I'm not a popular streamer. And it's kind of random me live streaming. Uh, Fallout. Well, I have, uh, I think, CSGO or Battlefield 4 set. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm going to show you this guy, show you this one more time. As you can see, you just can type in your chat and reply to people. Or you can just see the uh, chat while you're in game. You don't have to have multiple screens or anything. And it's wonderful for all those people that may want to stream and uh, don't have mul multiple screens to stream with. I'm definitely going to be using this, and I'm definitely going to be streaming more often now. Anyways, guys, uh, my personal opinion on this is really, really high. I really love this program. There are obviously some things that they need to add, and uh, I definitely think that they will add a lot of things that we suggest, and I'm going to quickly show you guys right now. I'm just going to go and quit the game. Now, I'm going to show you guys how you can ask for things to be put into the program and how you can t t let them know about the bugs and such that are in it. So, as you can see, it will also tell you if there is like a, an old driver for like Elgato or something. I think this is just a bug because I have the newest version, but uh, you can also follow their uh, Twitter, Facebook, and their YouTube. So, if I just close the program, click OK. A new window will pop up and it will ask you to rate it and it will ask you if you have any comments or suggestions. So I'm just gonna put some down some suggestions that I've already put down. So things like uh, overlays, ability to change codec to uh, custom codec, Example, like Rith lossless. Um, also things such as, um, let's think of a little bit more. Let's think here. Um, what is one thing I said? One thing I said. Um, basically, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. If you guys have any suggestions on what they should add, please let me know. And also, you can specify a bug. And uh, you can enable do not show this again, but I suggest keeping this on so that you can always, and when you think of new things, submit new things. And click OK. And bam, set. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I personally think highly of this program, and I will be using this to stream for my streams. And hopefully they add overlays and such, and the ability to change the codec and so on, and also the ability to use custom buttons, such as on like Razer mouse and keyboards, and things like that. I may make a video on things that they should add, and uh, I want to know your suggestions. What should they add into this program? Let me know down in the comment section below, and tell me whether you guys, if you have downloaded this, tell me what you guys think of this program. I personally love it. And I want to know what you guys think of it. Rate it out of 100, and I would love to see what you guys have to say. Anyways, guys, this has been Epoxy. Hope you guys enjoyed this Exploit Gamecaster review. Don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.